this bullet to Trump's head in 100 days just got shocking dose of something else instead. Liberal companies have been mobilizing against Donald Trump almost immediately after he was inaugurated. After Trump issued his executive order banning travel from seven Muslim countries, those liberal companies really went into overdrive, publicly opposing both the order, and Trump himself. But this liberal CEO? He just took it way too far. Most liberal CEO keep to opposing Trump in the usual way. Howard Schultz, CEO of Starbucks, announced that he would hire 10,000 refugees in response to Trump's executive order. It's irritating to many Americans, but it's not criminal. What Ted Kornblum just did, though, is. Kornblum is the CEO of magnetone guitars and amplifiers. And apparently, he isn't very bright. Like a typical liberal, he opposes Donald Trump. But most liberals are at least smart enough to know that posting assassination fantasies online isn't the best idea, at the very least, it will get the attention of the Secret Service rather quickly. Yet Kornblum still went ahead and posted an assassination threat, on both Facebook and Twitter. He evidently really, really wanted to make sure everyone knew about it. Can you imagine the reaction if the CEO of a right-wing company had said the same thing about Obama while he was in office? The media would have had a field day. But because it's Trump, the media is silent. Still, even without any media attention, Kornblum realized that he had stepped in it, big time, and put out an apology on Facebook, it's one thing to peacefully protest. But liberals don't seem to understand that when you start advocating for violence, or rioting, or physically attacking people, you can no longer call what you're doing a protest. And it certainly can't be called peaceful, either. Calling for the president to be assassinated isn't just an invalid form of protesting, it's illegal and stupid. CEO promises bullet to Trump's head in 100 days just got shocking dose of something else instead. Liberal companies have been mobilizing against Donald Trump almost